Messenger RNA Tech, or mRNA technology, has revolutionized the field of healthcare, offering new approaches to prevent and treat diseases. This technology leverages the body's own cellular machinery to produce therapeutic proteins, bypassing the need for traditional drug delivery methods. In this video, we will talk about the possible applications of mRNA technology in healthcare. Let's begin. mRNA in vaccines. mRNA vaccines have emerged as a powerful tool in the fight against infectious diseases. Unlike traditional vaccines, which introduce an inactivated or weakened virus or a piece of a virus to stimulate an immune response, mRNA vaccines deliver genetic instructions for making a portion of the target virus to an individual's cells. The body's cells then make the protein needed to generate an immune response. This breakthrough ability presents new opportunities for creating future mRNA vaccines that are tailored to fight different infectious diseases. The COVID-19 pandemic has thrown a spotlight on mRNA vaccines, with the Pfizer BioNTech and Moderna vaccines demonstrating high efficacy. The success of these vaccines resulted from decades of investment in basic science exploring chemical modifications of and immune responses to RNA, with their potential applications for HIV, respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, and cancer therapeutics and vaccines. mRNA in cancer treatment mRNA technology also holds promise in the field of oncology. mRNA-based cancer treatment vaccines have been tested in small trials for nearly a decade, with some promising early results. The vaccines work by delivering mRNA that instructs cells to produce tumor-specific antigens, thereby stimulating the immune system, particularly the T cells, to attack the cancer cells. Adding mRNA therapy improves the response to cancer immunotherapy in patients, who weren't responding to the treatment. Clinical trials are underway to assess the safety and efficacy of mRNA cancer vaccines in different cancers. While still early days, some studies have shown positive results. For instance, trials are ongoing to evaluate an mRNA vaccine for melanoma, with hopes to offer new options by 2030. Researchers are also investigating mRNA vaccines for various other cancers, including pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, head, and neck cancers. The goal is to determine if this approach can be effective in a wider range of tumors. mRNA in treating autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases occur when the immune system mistakenly targets healthy cells and tissues. In this context, mRNA technology holds potential for a novel approach to treating autoimmune diseases. Traditionally, autoimmune treatments aim to broadly suppress the immune system, which can leave patients vulnerable to infections. mRNA offers a more targeted approach. By delivering instructions to cells to produce specific autoantigens, which are molecules mistakenly targeted by the immune system, mRNA vaccines could induce tolerance without compromising the normal immune response. This essentially retrains the immune system to recognize the autoantigen as harmless, potentially halting the autoimmune attack. Studies in mice with autoimmune encephalomyelitis, a model for multiple sclerosis, have shown promise, with mRNA vaccines reducing disease severity. However, this research is still in the early stages. Challenges include ensuring the safety and efficacy of this approach in humans, and fine-tuning the immune response to achieve tolerance without compromising overall immunity. Nevertheless, mRNA technology offers a glimmer of hope for developing more specific and potentially disease-modifying treatments for autoimmune diseases. Although human clinical trials are not yet widespread, the potential of mRNA vaccines to treat disease-specific autoimmunity without compromising overall immune function is significant. As research continues, we hope to see more breakthroughs in using mRNA technology for autoimmune diseases. mRNA in Gene Therapy mRNA technology is also being explored in the field of gene therapy. Unlike traditional gene therapies that introduce, replace, or inactivate genes in the body, mRNA therapies deliver corrected mRNA into cells. By giving cells the right blueprint for creating healthy proteins, mRNA therapy can prevent or treat disease. Moreover, mRNA can also be a delivery vehicle for gene editing tools like CRISPR. In this approach, mRNA carries the instructions for the Cas9 enzyme, a molecular scalpel, and guide RNA, 
which directs the Cas9 to the right location on DNA. Once delivered, this molecular machinery can precisely edit genes within the cell, offering a potential approach for correcting faulty genes that cause diseases. This mRNA-based gene editing holds promise for a more targeted and less disruptive approach to gene therapy compared to traditional methods. While initial studies show promise for mRNA-based gene therapy, it's crucial to remember that the data comes from preclinical research, not human trials. This field is still young, with large-scale clinical trials just beginning. Efficient delivery of the mRNA and minimizing the immune response remain significant challenges. These hurdles make it difficult to standardize protocols and definitively measure efficacy across different studies. However, despite the lack of large-scale human data, the initial findings are encouraging. Researchers are actively working on overcoming these delivery and immune response issues. As the field progresses, we can expect more specific data from human trials in the coming years, providing a clearer picture of the therapeutic potential of mRNA technology in gene therapy. In conclusion, mRNA technology has the potential to revolutionize healthcare, offering new approaches to prevent and treat a wide range of diseases. As research continues to advance, the future of mRNA technology in healthcare looks promising. That is the end of today's video. If you have any questions or any thoughts, please share it down below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and feel free to visit the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.